This video was made with support from the National Lottery Heritage Fund. Did you know Cleethorpes began as three separate hamlets, all Itterby and Thronsco. They became known as Cleethorpes, the villages of Old Clee, which was where the parish church was. It wasn't until 1863, with the arrival of the railway, that Cleethorpes as a resort as we know it today came to life. And here, the pier gardens, the pier behind us, are the monuments of the railway industry because they created these pleasure areas for all the visitors that came. Castle, named after Edward Ross, secretary to the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway Company, who formed the resort of Cleethorpes. It's said to denote the height of the cliffs. Of course, Cleethorpes, with its three hamlets, was predominantly very rural. The main occupations in Cleethorpes were farming and fishing, so the fishermen would take their boats down the cliffside onto the beach and out into the North Sea. So Cleethorpes was the home of fishing well before Grimsby became the premier fishing port in the world. Seaview Street is very attractive to the tourists, always has been. In fact, number 16 Seaview Street is said to be one of the oldest shops in the road, opening in the 1800s to accommodate the growing boom in tourism. Sadly, a cholera epidemic broke out in the nearby houses in the 1850s, which frightened many tourists away. But as you can see today, Seaview Street is a thriving street that attracts many people from far and wide. Knoll House was built in 1898 and it's Grade 2 listed. It was lived in by Henry Kelly Senior and his family. Henry, as well as being a greengrocer, an oldman and a justice of the peace, was also director of the Great Grimsby Steam Trawling Company. And Henry, like so many trawler owners of the time, moved to Cleethorpes for the fresh air. But also, Knoll House gave him the superb views of the Humber Estuary so Henry could see his trawlers coming home. Did you know people born in Cleethorpes are referred to as Meggies and there are a number of reasons why this is so. One is that there was a smuggler called Meg who was famous when a ship crashed ashore here landing a cargo of red cotton in which all the women and children of Cleethorpes walked around in red flannel drawers. The second is the area around Isaac's Hill in Old English was called Mag Helland, corrupted to Meg's Island. The Heritage Channel is supported by the National Lottery Heritage Fund.